hello everyone and welcome back to my channel physics radiate today we will learn that how we can measure the whole mobility of a semiconductor in this case uh, over here uh, we have deposited uh, nickel oxide uh, at the rate of carbon sphere so in this case uh, for example uh, we want to calculate the whole mobility of our uh, sample so that can be written as for example over here i want to write this so the whole mobility is actually uh, for this uh, uh, semiconductor uh, can be calculated with some mathematical uh, equations so however we have some setup uh, before that uh, uh, we will have uh, the uh, for example in this case we calculated this with the uh, Hall effect measurement and this was actually the Hall effect measurement okay so i will just write down it so that we can understand and this is the prepared uh, sample where we have uh, four probe method uh, four points okay where we are interested to calculate the whole mobility of this uh, sample here we have one contact another one and so on so uh, here uh, for example at this contact we connected let's say over here okay we connected an ampere m meter sorry m meter so that we can attack the measurement of uh, a current and uh, let's say on this uh, uh, contact and this one we take the voltmeter where we can uh, take the voltage of the sample and uh, this sample is uh, actually immersed in this O1 which is uh, mm, O1 where we can have the control uh, or as you can see the control temperature so we can have, we, we have some uh, buttons over here we can switch on switch off the temperature and increase and decrease the temperature as required and so here we want to measure the whole mobility as a function of uh, temperature so for that uh, we uh, need to uh, have some basic concepts so uh, for example if we want to have the equation of the conductivity uh, for example for this one we have uh, a little bit uh, let's say over here we need to collect the uh, current here we collect the voltage so we can draw the semiconductor behavior of the uh, of the semiconductor that is uh, we can say uh, IV curve and I will show you uh, how we can take that uh, in the first let's say we took this measurement and uh, okay let me let me show that how we prepared that sample and how we took this as we can see over here so by changing each one uh, probes or we can say the contacts we can take the voltage and current and we can draw these uh, graphs or we can say like here for example if I want to graph this one like this so these are for the different uh, contacts here we can say a b b c c d and d a uh, and at this axis we have the voltage million volt 
this is actually the voltage okay millivolt we can like this and uh, along x axis this is actually the current which is in milli ampere okay like this so in this way we can plot the semiconductor or the iv the curve of this uh, sample after that you can make uh, the figures figure like this as i have done for my sample which was a uh, nickel oxide and carbon composite so you can uh, plot uh, a figure like this so this one is actually the first step is easy now let uh, me let me go to, uh, back to the slide uh, now now i am interested to tag the conductivity of the material so for that uh, we have some mathematical equation let's say i represent uh, conductivity by sigma and that is mathematically equal to 2 s and ln natural log of 2 ln 2 multiply by initial uh, conductivity of the material sigma naught divided by uh, thickness of the of the sample so over here uh, this uh, sigma naught is actually what sigma naught is actually the initial or the basic uh, uh, conductivity of the material uh, that can be written as i divided by v okay and multiply by 1 over 2 pi s so as we can see that uh, the conductivity depends on the s is actually the spacing the spacing between the uh, let's say what here the spacing between the uh, uh, contacts and t is the thickness of the of the sample or here for example like this this is the thickness and uh, as we can see here is the i and v we have calculated that and from the figure as we have seen uh, or we can calculate from ampere uh, sorry from m meter and volt meter and again this is the spacing between the contacts so here is the conductivity we will get uh, conductivity in this uh, situation okay now uh, all the things uh, as we can see this the conductivity depend on the spacing between the contacts and the thickness of the uh, of the sample in this case it was around about 3 micrometer I think uh, about that now uh, if we got the conductivity we can draw the graph as a function of temperature if we increase decrease the temperature so as we know that uh, 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 the semiconductor will have some uh, charge carriers that will drift from one side to another side so this is actually as a function of temperature now uh, let's say we we want to calculate the whole mobility uh, which may be uh, written in this equation uh, like this let's say i call it mu h which is uh, in this case this is the p type semiconductor so i write it a whole mobility and that is uh, the conductivity which we have calculated sigma and multiply by the hall coefficient r h and Hall coefficient can be uh, written as uh, thickness of the uh, sample multiplied by the voltage or we can say the Hall voltage and divided by current 
and the applied magnetic field we uh, in this setup uh, we have also the have the magnetic field uh, okay so uh, in this uh, in this uh, way we can collect the whole mobility of the sample so this was actually a uh, theoretical background of the of this uh, hall effect measurement so uh, for example if you want to know or if you want to graph these uh, as a function of temperature so the temperature can be taken from here and here the conductivity can be calculated like this uh, the whole mobility can be calculated like this so let me show you this uh, graph over here okay mm, i think this one yeah so let's say this is actually the temperature in kelvin this is the whole mobility and this is the conductivity so we can draw this uh, okay plot uh, let's say w y okay in this case we can see here uh, this is the okay we can see over here the same uh, figure which I have drawn for my mm, sample mm, uh, this is actually on the y-axis uh, the mobility whole mobility we call it whole mobility and on the y-axis this is actually the conductivity and on the x-axis uh, this is the temperature so uh, in this way we can find out uh, that uh, uh, what is the whole mobility or uh, even we can find out for the n-type materials for the you know for the p-type materials so uh, we can uh, calculate the whole mobility conductivity and we can put uh, this data in our uh, interest uh, interest of research or research articles so thank you so much for watching and if you have any question let me know uh, please like share and subscribe see you again